Hey, what's going on guys? Dopesporter here, and I decided that after um, using my Corsair gaming setup, my new mouse and keyboard for the last couple weeks, I would finally show you guys what it is exactly I'm using and talk about it a little bit. Most of you know that I had a um, Black Widow, no not Black Widow, Razor Deathstalker I've been using for a while along with the China uh, mouse, which I've been using, which has been relatively good for the past year. Um, I then went and upgraded to a Black Widow that was defective, got another defective Black Widow, to then I said, screw this Razor, I can't do this anymore, so I went ahead and jumped ship to Corsair. I've been using their keyboard and mouse for the last two weeks pretty heavily and they have been phenomenal so I'm going to finally go ahead and show you guys them. Um, I'll show you guys the other, my old mouse and keyboard. Um, this right here is the, uh, you can't really see it too well, but this is the Razer uh, Death Stalker which is like chiclet style keys and this is the China mouse that I have been using up until now. Um, let me check in my closet because I don't remember the exact serial number for the mouse and keyboard. Uh, the keyboard I'm using now is the K70 and the mouse is the M65. So K70 and M65, that's the Corsair mouse and keyboard that I've got right here. So let me go ahead and move this out of the way. <clears throat> Alrighty, so here is the keyboard. As you can see, it's got this red color scheme. Um, it has basically got a rubberized texture, which I really like that it has this um, wrist rest, if you will. Um, after using the keyboard for a long period of time, which I mean I do via gaming, YouTube editing, YouTube recording, or just doing you know schoolwork, it's really nice to have that to rest onto. It, it kind of just gives your, your wrist some support. Um, on the keys, I don't know how well you can see it, but basically you've got textures on the W, A, S, and D keys, and they're actually grooved, so for me that's really nice, um, especially for like, I don't know, almost all games, but especially first person shooters, because I can easily find the different keys. Also 1 through 6 has this as well, which are the most common keys you're going to use for like MMOs, uh, for your spells and attacks and things like that. Um, these are optional, they do give you just regular black keys as well. Um, I popped these on because I wanted them on, I think they look awesome and they feel great. And again, um, You've got this red underglow. Um, this keyboard also does come in what's like the RGB, I believe that's what it's called, version of it, um, which basically gives you kind of like the Razer Chroma, a shitload of different color options. I didn't get that because Best Buy did not have that, um, so I got just the red color scheme, which is fine with me. Red's pretty much the color that I would have wanted anyways, either red, blue, or green. So yeah, that's what I got. Um, on the top here, it just says Corsair Gaming. It's got this kind of like gun, I don't know if I'd call it gun metal, but kind of like a gunmetal y look to the rest of the keyboard, which is really nice. Um, we've got a wheel right here, which allows you to adjust volume. Um, we've got a little bit of other oh, stuff we got here. We've got a, I believe that, yeah, that turns the lights on and off. Actually, you've got a couple different options. You've got low, medium, high, off, low, medium, high. Um, don't even know what that does. What does that do? Oh, that's badass. Okay, so this one right here, you press that, it turns off all the lights except for the movement keys and the, um, you know, one through six. So that's really cool. I haven't even used those. And then this bad boy right here, I don't know if that locks the keyboard. I would imagine maybe. Um, I haven't really used that at all. And I believe there's also, let me see if I can find it for you guys. From what I remember, there's actually a USB port. Yeah, you also have a USB port on the back of right here. So... That's really cool. And then it has a switch with one, two, three, and four for the BIOS, which I, I'll try to break this thing for the video, um, I have not used and I, I honestly don't know what they do. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm going to use the keyboard for pretty standard things. All the additional features are cool and all, but for me, it was more just like how well does it work. Um, and the keys, there's like different options for the, because uh, this is a um, mechanical keyboard. Um, the one thing I will say I liked about Grazer's Black Widow was that it kind of gave you feedback when you click down you can hear like a clicking sound. While on this one there's not so much of that but you definitely get used to it. Um, Corsair has like three different options. I believe there's brown, blue, and red MX which is going to be basically the amount of resistance you get. Um, well I went with cherry red MX um, which I believe is the potentially least feedback of them all. Um, don't quote me on that. I'll, I'll place a link to the keyboard. I really don't remember too much, but I know that it is the red Cherry MX. Um, and then we've got the mouse over here, which is an awesome mouse. Um, this is, again, I believe it was the M65. Um, this one is the RGB version, so you can go ahead and adjust the light right here, um, as well as there's light on the front on the wheel. Um, you can adjust that to like a stupid amount of different colors, which I went with red to basically match on the uh, keyboard. I wish I could change that top green light to red, but you can't. I tried. Um, there's a little like trigger button thing on the side right here. When you press that, 
it does turn red. So I don't know. I guess that's the reason why you can't change that because it has that sort of use. But uh, anyways, it's a pretty heavy mouse, um, but I really like it. I believe you can even, yeah, you've got weights on the bottom that you can remove or shift around. I haven't messed that at all because I'm pretty content with the way it is set up already as is. Uh, but it definitely fits nicely in the hand. It's a pretty big mouse. Um, I will say that. Like, I've got fairly large hands, and it definitely fits nicely in my hands. So definitely, if you've got bigger hands, and that's an issue that, like, the mice or mouses you've used in the past have been too small, then I definitely would recommend the M65. Uh, it's got a real nice scrolling wheel with uh, kind of a rubber. Well, it does have rubber on it um, right there, so that's great. Um, on the side, you've got, you know, one, two, just two macros. Uh, you know, you can program, I believe you can program the third macro right there, and I think that maybe even four and five would be these arrows on top. Um, I, the, I did want originally a mouse that had more buttons on it for MMOs, um, like there's the Razer Sigma, I want to say, it's got like 10 or 12 different keys on it, but I even felt the Razer Sigma, if that's the name of it, again, I don't really know for sure, um, but the one with all the buttons on it, it was really like kind of awkward for me, um, and even though I do play now a decent amount of like MMOs and RPGs and stuff like that, I knew, I knew that I was still going to be playing a lot of first person shooter style games, and so this is a great first person shooter mouse, but anyways guys, I really love this setup, again, it's the K70 and the MX, I'm not MX, K70 and M65, um, I'll go ahead and place links in the description if you want to find out more and anything like that. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to answer. Hope you all are doing well. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Peace, guys. Hey, guys, don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe for new great videos every single week, including monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I'll see you guys next time.